here at Finca Luna Nueva Lodge in Costa Rica, and I'm getting my stuff together. Um, about to head south. Well, actually, I'm about to go pick up uh, my guide and friend Alberto, and we're gonna head south to Porto Porto Jimenez or Jimenez, as they say. Um, it's a seven-hour drive, so we're gonna stop along the way, do some birding, and yeah, um, supposed to be here on the twentieth. Got here on the twenty-first. Plane delay, missed second flight because of the plane delay. Anyway, I'm here. I'm up. I'm ready for my adventure. I'm ready for some new species. And that's why we're heading south. So, uh, yeah, it's a floor cricketing. Yeah, so, um, looking forward to bringing you some of these adventures we're going to be doing. And yeah, so, hey, put my stuff in the car and get ready to go pick up Alberto. All right, so I got all my gear in the car. You know what's funny and interesting? So, I got this rental car and I said, hey, there's no license plates. And it was like, yeah, because the car is less than three months old, they didn't, I guess he said Costa Rica moves slow as far as registration, so they don't give you the plates yet. So you have to they give you this to put on the car. So that was kind of interesting. But I mean, it's the rental place, they told me a lot of cars they had that had no had no license plates. So yeah, so this is Finca Luna. This is uh the reception area. I'm actually, like I said, I'm just about to leave. Uh look at how many birds. Uh I'm actually gonna pick him up at 7.30. First it was seven, but 7.30 now, so um I think I'll make my way to the bird station and see what they got going on. So, <clears throat> driving to go get Alberto now. It's even Finca. Uh, like I said, I'm picking up a little later because he, he's gonna get picked up at 7.30. So I'm gonna go check out the grounds for a little bit. And now I am on my way. His dogs just be in the street like they don't care. Look, 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 look. oh my gosh. Watch out now. They're, then they'll bark at you. See? <laughs> then they'll start barking at you like you're doing something wrong. All right, I'm gonna pick up Beto. All right, you open? Yeah, how are you? I'm good, man. Got a okay. bucket? Yeah, hold on. So we got Beto here. Should open now. All right. He got his trap. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And put this thing down. All right, so he got his gear. He got his boots. Oh my gosh, those muck boots, man. I love them. I could just rinse them off real quick. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You got one back there? Good? Yeah. Put my computer there and then. Okay. That's the case. You never know. Let me um I move my stuff out the way. Charger, uh, good. Yeah, I got a charger. Okay, so we are on our way now. See, Beto's here, he's ready. Had to pick him up. So right now we are leaving, um, what is it? Uh, Pedro, uh, Peña Blancas. Oh, San Ramon. Yeah, Peña Blancas. And we're heading to uh, Porto, 
Porto Jimenez or Jimenez. I keep saying Jimenez. I think it's called Jimenez. I think how you pronounce it. So that's about a what seven hour drive. We're gonna bird along the way. And it's like I said, this is further south. So it's about just seeing new species. Again, you know, I'm in Costa Rica, I've been coming since 2019, and I've seen some of the, you know, I'm just trying to find like different birds. And you know, there's so many different birds. You can go Caribbean side is gonna find different birds. So even when I went um to I forgot the other place, so Florida, um at the other place I stayed at, new birds. So it's all about just trying to find new species. Of course I want to make it to Colombia. Of course I want to make it to Brazil. I actually supposed to go to Brazil, but the guys gonna get back to me. But you know, Costa Rica, you can explore so much. Like I said, it's a seven hour ride we're heading to, and it's gonna be different species. Of course, some of the similar species we see here, but there's some endemics down there. What is it, the black cheek? Uh, black cheek in Tanager. Yep. Uh, we look for turquoise Cotinga, also for red-breasted uh, Tanager. Oh my gosh, so, he showed me that bird, it's so beautiful. And some Pita, hopefully. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I, never, I never photographed one. Yeah, and maybe some fly catchers, uh, crested or pendula. Um, yeah, so new species there. Yeah, and so like I said, you might see Beto in my videos all the time. Alberto, call him Beto. Alberto, Alberto guy, uh, Costa Rica CR. You can see him on Instagram. I always put his link in there. Um, great guide if you need one for Costa Rica. Um, whatever you need, whether you just want to travel somewhere, go see some sites, especially birding. His specialty is birding and just doing all kind of things, but you need his services, you're in Costa Rica, the link will be in my description as I put last time. And you know, so you have all that as link, Instagram, great guy, bilingual, as I mentioned last time. And um, yeah, I've actually recommended him to a couple of people, actually. So you want to find the birds, you gotta find Alberto. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So we are on our journey, and I'm probably not gonna get back on this thing till we get closer because what we do is we kind of bird along the way. If we see things, we just stop and pull over. We got our cameras ready. He got his camera over here. I got my camera over here. Yeah, so we're on the road. Uh, what time is it now? I don't know. It's 8.05. And yeah, so later. Hey, 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 so we had to take a little break. Let's just get some coffee and get some water. Where we at? Tarkulis? Tarkulis, Tarkulis River. Okay. And we went here, I stopped here last time when we was heading down to um, La Florida. But uh, yeah, so we stopping. And there's a little souvenir shop yeah. over here. Get over here, get some coffee. Oh, well, he's getting, I don't drink coffee. Beto love his coffee. Cafe, yeah. he's called, as he call it. Yeah, <laughs> Cafe. sugar. He needs the sugar. I just want some water. It's a, it's, a, it's a stuff you must do. See the crocodiles, Costa Rica largest crocodiles there in the, the river. Oh yeah. I might stop with the crocodiles. This thing's ready, hold on. Hey, 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 so we just made a stop at this national park and Carrara. What'd you say, Beto? Carrara National Park. Carrara Party. National. Yeah, okay, so we're on our we're still on our way. We just happened to just stop here, see what we could find. It's been a little hour here, so see what's happening. That's all. See what we can find. All right, that was great. So as you see, I'm sweating. <laughs> so we just left. Um, oh my gosh, what do you call it again? Carrara National Park. Carrara National Park, and we made a stop before we head into our final destination, which is uh, the beach lodge that I'm staying at in Porto. Porto Jimenez, or Jimenez, whatever you want to say. I think it's called Jimenez, right? Yeah. So, yeah, um, I got this, I got to get the uh, white whiskered collar bird. No, what is, what white whiskered puff bird. 
I'm gonna show you all that on the screen. Uh, what else I get? What was the trogan? Black throated token? Black throated trogan. Black throated trogan and the gray headed tanager. Right? Yep. Um, there were some other birds I missed. I mean, I got some other birds, I'm not sure. But I know I got those birds pretty uh, clear. There was a, a, a um, what you call that thing? The uh, fly catcher. <sighs> One of the shots are clear, the other one's kind of not so sharp, but. Anyway, it was tough. I was kind of like, not kind of, I was in the rainforest, it was dark. It's and I thought I had focus. Man. So yeah, so. Anyway, I'm gonna show those birds on the screen. We're heading to, uh, I think get some lunch right now. Kind of hungry. So yeah, so that was a cool stop. I'm glad Beto uh, stopped there because I got some good species, some lifers too, so. We that missed up by Hako. Okay, Hako. This is beach. Yeah. Beach area, so. All right. Back to the journey. Good morning. So we arrived here last night at about maybe about eight o'clock. It was dark, it was rainy. We went and got some food, kind of got situated, and now I'm starting today. Unfortunately, our plans were to leave out around six to start our birding journey. But as you can see, the rain is coming down. So Right now, I'm going to do some editing of some photos I did yesterday. I'm at the uh, beach lodge. I decided to do some editing this morning for a little bit before breakfast. I'm at the beach lodge and I'm taking advantage of the time to do something different. Do something else, I mean. So. I will continue this journey a little later on, but we are here. We are in Puerto Jimenez. And um, I didn't get a chance to see what it's like because it's been raining, but we're on a beach lodge. The beach is actually right there, so I want to take a stroll down there and see if I see any shorebirds, any kind of different species of birds that I may not have seen, may not have seen up in Pinas Blancas. All right? So, rain, rain, go away. Whatever. All right. Do some editing. Hey, hey. So so even though it's raining, we still want to get out. We're going to go to the soda. It's still raining though. So, it's still raining the rain, why not? Ah, so. It's still raining. So, I'm hungry. <laughs> Alright, so got my breakfast. Typical. Hmm? Got your pinto, some eggs, pantan, cheese. Alright, so we just left from having some breakfast. Right now we are patrolling the area. And by the way, that breakfast was so delicious. I had the typical. Costa Rican breakfast. Gallo Pinto. Look at that. Oh, this bridge here. Kind of scary. And so, I believe that was at Nano's Cafe. I believe. So, we're going back there for lunch. Um, great food, by the way. Very good. Very good food. Yeah, so right now we're just looking for different birds along the road so we can find. Uh, oh, that's my seatbelt here. Oh. Anyway. So yeah, so right there. Right there. For birding. Okay, I put my seatbelt on real quick. But not, we're just driving really slow anyway. But the noise is just the noise is bothering me. Yeah, I wanted to kind of show you more of that food, but I don't think I'm um, ready to eat my food on camera just to eat and talk about it. It's not a food. It's not a food channel. It's a birding channel. It's a nature channel. And plus, the light behind me was kind of bright. Not kind of. It was bright. So I was kind of. I was silhouetted dark. So, um, Beto, real quick again, what was the name of the humming hummingbird we might check out later? Uh, the snowy belly hummingbird. Snowy, snowy, belly, snowy belly hummingbird. That's gonna be a bird we're gonna try to find later on today. If I get that, of course, I'll put the picture up. Hopefully, we get it. So, yeah, so we're just exploring area. See what's going on. 
see what we can find. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get back to some birdie and I will see you later. So we're in some reserve here and it's raining. Um, the birds I think he sees or hears a certain kind of bird. But the problem with my lens is not fully weathered still. My body is, my Canon R5 is, but my Sigma 150 to 600 Sport is not. I mean, I could bring it out if I see something real quick, but I need me a fully weathered still lens. And I keep thinking about which one I'm gonna buy. I really don't want that 100 to 500. I want, I want to keep that 600 range that I still already have. So, I'm just unsure what I want to do. I was hoping Canon uh, allow Sigma to create some for their RF. Well, I'm sorry, I thought I saw something. For the RF uh, system, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, I have to do my burden like this because of my lens is not water sealed. My body is, I got the R5, but my Sigma, uh oh. I was just photographed on a, uh, I think, social fly catcher. I'll put that out there. The guts is out there. I think it's a particular rail in here. So. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're back on our journey. The guts have thought he's seen it, uh, a certain kind of rail. What was it? Uh, no, you, not, you didn't see it, but you heard it. I know you heard it. I saw the silhouette of the, the net rail, Rufus roof, net rail. Rail. Rufus Neck Wood Rail. Okay. Rufus Neck Wood Rail. And uh, yeah, so we just was trying to see what we can find. Um, he didn't get it. It'd be nice to get it. Oh, it's like the rain's slowing down a little bit. I was just photographing social fly catches. I, I believe I have it, but if I don't I have it, I'll flash it on the screen anyway. So, yeah, so we are back driving along this reserve. So that says some squirrel monkeys. I've never seen the squirrel monkeys. Let's see. So that was so cool. I finally got to see all four monkeys of Costa Rica. That was the uh, squirrel monkey. And I was able to get some video, some photos. I will share that. I thought I was getting it with my phone too, for my, my stories. And I hit the camera instead of video. Oh well, but I definitely got it for my camera. And my, um, I got it for my camera as far as video and photos. So, yay, I'm excited.
Yeah, so I had to hop out real quick. We was driving and um, saw a juvenile yellow crested caracara. Yellow crested? Yellow breasted. Yellow headed. Yellow headed, excuse me. Yellow headed caracara. Which is actually now the cow eating some of the bugs. Look at that. Oh, yellow headed wow. caracara. That would be a good photo. I'm gonna get that photo too. And I got the roadside hawk. I put it on the screen. Top of the cow. Okay, I probably didn't finish what I was saying. So, um, we stopped the car, we had seen a juvenile yellow-headed caracara, and then a little ways down further, a nice uh, roadside hawk on a nice perch. So yeah, I'm gonna obviously put this on the video, but that was really cool, super cool. And I've photographed a roadside hawk before here, but not on the perch like that. So, we just try to get out and photograph a Another yellow headed caracara on a cow, but it flew away. That would have been a nice photo. So we're still moving and grooving through this uh, area here. Nice little things along this way. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey, so <clears throat> had a great day burning today, man. It was so cool. Uh, even though it rained. Ended up, it ended up being a magnificent day for birding. Got to see some species. Um, I was really excited about seeing the uh, squirrel monkey. So now I've officially seen all the monkeys of Costa Rica, which is four. There's the um, hollow monkey, spider monkey, white-faced capuchin monkey, and now I saw the squirrel monkey today. They're so cute. So I know you saw it in the video. Um, yeah, this was a great day. This was a great day. So yeah, so I combined the day of me traveling, the day of me traveling yesterday, I was, uh, it was in route, so it was about like a seven hour drive, I think maybe six, so we stopped a few, we stopped to do some birding at the uh, Carrara National Park, got some good stuff there, and yeah man, um, so it started out rainy, but ended up turning into a great day, so I'm really excited, um, yeah, this is great, so this is where we came for breakfast today, and I'm going to... We came back to have some dinner. The food was just that good. So good. So, hey, if you enjoyed the video, you know, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I combined both days just to have a little content to kind of show a little traveling and show some of the stuff we did today. The cars are going by. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Time to get some food. Later.